guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Zelda. No, I did it again. This is Nintendo News. <laughs> Let's get to some Nintendo News. I just want it to be all Zelda all the time. I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, I forgot what I was going to talk about. One moment while I look over here. Oh yeah, Tyrone Rodriguez from Nicalis? Not N Nicalis. Hey, here's a fun little episode where I'm just going to leave all of the bloopers in and going to point out that over here on my left is a giant uh, projector screen the size of my wall, and that's what I watch movies on, play video games on, and right now I <laughs> have a list of all the stories that I'm going to be talking about this week on not exactly the most exciting use of this wall-sized projection screen, but uh, that's how I played Skyward Sword, and it was pretty awesome that way. Anyways. What's his name again? I forgot again already. Tyrone Rodriguez, uh, from the developer Nick Callis. Uh, you can tell I don't really know who he is or who Nick Callis is, but uh, he said... I'm really not prepared for this episode. He said he feels that the Wii U gamepad is a waste of time and resources. He says that the reason why he uh, feels that way is that it takes... You know, you can't just develop a game for the Wii U and then not use the gamepad. And in order to use the gamepad to the best of its abilities, it takes a lot of time and money. And uh, I feel like this is this is why a lot of third parties are not developing for the Wii U. They feel like they don't want to just port the game over to the Wii U and not utilize the gamepad. But in order to utilize the gamepad, it's practically like building a brand new game. You've got to really focus on how you can use that to make things different and interesting. And as cool as the gamepad is, I'm now kind of starting to see that it's no wonder that there have been so few third-party games coming out for the Wii U, because, like, even Watch Dogs. The reason why the Wii U version of Watch Dogs is delayed is because of the gamepad, because they said, we don't want to just throw the game on the Wii U, we want to utilize the gamepad in interesting ways, but doing so is going to take a long time, and we just want to get the game out for the other consoles as soon as we can, and get the Wii U version when, out when it's ready, we don't want to rush the Wii U version. So, I think a lot of other third-party companies see that and then just cut off Wii U right from the get-go and say, we don't want to waste the time, you know, we don't have the time to develop for the gamepad. So, I guess I have to say that it's kind of Nintendo's fault, and that maybe the gamepad was kind of a bad idea? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys later on today for some Zelda news, tomorrow for more Nintendo news. Bye guys.